Hey, how's everyone doing? I'm Nicholas. We're gonna get started with some yoga in just a bit. Hey, how are you guys doing? I'm Nicholas. We're going to get started in just a moment. Um, before we get going, though, and I'm going to set my phone down trying to find the perfect angle, um, a couple things that might be useful, aside from some water, would be maybe a towel when we get into some shoulder stretching. If shoulders are a little tight, feel free to have an extra prop to use to kind of work through some of those tight shoulders that we might get into. Also, another thing for any of my friends today that are maybe a little bit newer to yoga, maybe first time yoga, um, one big thing I always get with yoga is that I hear that people are too tight. They're not flexible enough for yoga. Don't think like that. It's not the case. Yoga is to help stretch out your body. So if you're tight, um, it's the perfect thing to do. One option, because a lot of stuff we do on the floor, we'll start seated. If the hips are really tight, if you don't feel comfortable seated or in a down dog on the floor, another great option is to have a chair nearby. So just in case I brought a chair out, we're all demo a bit as we go. And so again, if anything, you wanna start seated in the chair rather than on the floor. At any point, you wanna modify any of your downward facing dogs using a chair rather than coming all the way down to the mat and using the back of your chair that's also another option too. So I'll explain as we go. I'm try gonna try to give as many options as we go, um, something hopefully to work for everyone. Um, and again, you're doing this from home. So feel free to take a break when you need, grab water when you need, towel when you need, all of that good stuff. One more minute and we'll get going, making sure everyone is in. I do have some music on now too, kind of in the background, but it is there. All right, looks like it's just about time, you guys. Again, my name is Nicholas, welcome. This is our Breakout Studios online class. Happy to have you guys. I'm gonna take you through a little vinyasa flow. If you have no idea what vinyasa flow means or is, it is okay, don't worry. I will talk you through everything. I'll be demonstrating everything as we go. Um, so yeah, so welcome. When you're ready, we're gonna start in a seated position. I'm gonna switch our music over here. All right, so seated nice and tall. Again, if it's not comfortable to come to a seated position, feel free to make your way to a chair, find yourself propped up, seated on pillows, whichever feels most comfortable for your hips. Now my shins are crossed here, my shoulders are soft. Feel free to come to the mat and do the same. Now with your hands, place them where it feels most comfortable for you. I generally will place mine on my thighs, top of the knees, Palms up, again, whatever feels best for you. Now starting our yoga, we're gonna begin with a little bit of breath, just to check in, just to see how our bodies are feeling, see how our mind is feeling. Um, with all this quarantine business, let's see if we can just settle in for the next hour or so. So when you're ready, find yourself in a comfortable seated position. Seated nice and tall, drawing your belly in, softening your ribs in, lifting your heart. And feel free to even close your eyes. Now taking a moment, as you might have noticed, I'm actually outside, so you might even hear some of the breeze blowing, maybe some birds chirping around. It's been a gorgeous time to be in Arizona, beautiful weather. So just taking a moment as we set our breath and taking something in your life, something that you can just appreciate right now. Bring some appreciation to whether it is the weather, 
safe, healthy family, just being able to spend more time with family, whatever that might be. And as you might have had something pop up in your mind, something to appreciate, allow that to help drive you through your practice, Maybe at any time when things get intense, when you need a break, when you need something to focus on. And as your breath begins to deepen, just noticing how your breath is traveling in and out of your nose, of your mouth. Feel the rise and fall of your chest and belly. And even if you just sit for the entire hour and just breathe, that's perfect, just calming the nervous system. Again, make your practice work for you. Now we're gonna open up here with three big breaths. So when you're ready, I want you to take a nice deep inhale through your nose. And exhale, let it go out your mouth. Two more, deep breath in. And release. One more deep breath in. And release. And just see if you can gently press your lips together. Keep your jaw soft. Allow your tongue to flow comfortably in your mouth. And just notice your breath here. Notice your thoughts, your focus, any calm that might have set in. And on your next exhale, I want you to gently lower your chin towards your chest, softly bow your head. And just gently releasing your neck. Again, any goal, any intention, anything you might be focused on, something positive in your life right now. And when you're ready, gently take your time, softly begin to open your eyes and gently bring your head back up to a neutral position. Awesome. Good afternoon. Now sitting nice and tall, keeping those shoulders nice and soft, I want you to go ahead and reach your hands out right next to you, just to the side. Now from here, we're gonna be seated for a bit longer. I want you to take your palms, flip them up towards the ceiling, towards the sky. Now keeping that belly lifted as you inhale, go ahead and float your arms up and overhead. And as you exhale, gently release. And again, inhale, find length through that spine. Exhale, lower. And two more. Inhale, reach. Exhale, lower. And one more. Inhale, nice big reach. Now keep your arms reaching overhead. Pause for your exhale. Now double check. Are your shoulders way up here by your ears? Any tension? Can you soften the shoulders down a little bit more? As you stay seated, can you lift your belly a little bit more? Soften your ribs in a little bit more. Now with that nice big reach, arms overhead. Take an inhale. Exhale, gentle rotation towards your right. Keep your arms reaching overhead. Inhale, back to center. And exhale, switch to the left. Inhale, center. And again, exhale, right. Inhale, lengthen through the center. Exhale, left. And inhale, center. One more each side, right. And center. And last time, left. And center. Now I want you to pause here at the center, keep this lift through the belly. Now again, as you rotate to the right, I want you to pause on the side, gently release your left hand to your right thigh, bring your right hand behind you. Now use that right hand behind you, gently lift up. Now whether you're seated on the mat or a chair, gently lift that heart a little higher. As you inhale, lengthen. As you exhale, send your right shoulder back. Now again, inhale. And as you exhale, can you twist a little bit deeper? One more round of breath here. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist a little bit deeper. And on your next inhale, bring yourself all the way back up. Pause, tricep wrapping forward, belly lifts, other side. Exhale as you rotate, twist. Now keep the length as tall as you can. Be seated, send your right hand to your thigh, send your left hand back behind you. Now as you inhale, send your heart up towards the sky. As you exhale, Send your left shoulder back. And feel free to look back over your left shoulder. I'm not fully turning my gaze because I want to keep my voice going towards the mic. As you inhale, lift your heart. And as you exhale, rotate. 
Two more. Inhale, can you sit even higher? Exhale, twist. One more round. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. And inhale, brings you all the way back to center, pausing at the top. And exhale, gently release. <sighs> awesome. Let's go ahead and shift forward. We're going to bring ourselves all the way up into all four. So I want you to go ahead and swing your legs back around. And I want you to go ahead and find yourself onto hands and knees. Now remember, feel free if you need to stay at a chair, seated where you were, that is fine. Otherwise, go ahead and bring your wrists underneath your shoulders, bring your knees underneath your hips. Now, we wanna double check, we wanna make sure we're not locking our elbows out. A soft bend through your elbows and then hug the elbows back. Now your belly's lifted, collarbones are broad. As you inhale, I want you to pull your heart forward, lengthen through your spine. As you exhale, chin to chest, belly to spine, round. Cat, cow. Inhale, send your heart forward. And exhale, round. Two more, inhale, lengthen. And exhale, round. Now keep moving through that. Inhale, lengthen, reach your heart forward. And exhale, round. Two more here, inhale, lengthen. And exhale, round. One more, inhale, lengthen. And exhale, round. And then come all the way back to a neutral spine. Now pause here. Now again, I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see. We wanna make sure we're not pushing the belly down towards the mat. I want you to lift your belly up. Now from here, I want you to take your right arm, reach it straight forward. Tricep, back your arm, wrap it down, shoulder soft. Now begin to send your left foot back. Opposite arm is laid. Keep your belly lifted, send your tailbone back. As you inhale, can you lift the back leg, finding balance. Go ahead now, pausing here. Core is strong, shoulders soft, inhale, find length. As you exhale, bring elbow to knee. Inhale, reach. And again, exhale. Inhale, reach. Three more, exhale. Inhale, reach. Two more. And reach. And one more. And reach. Pausing here, find length, pressing out the back heel. Keep the belly lifted. Shoulders soft from your ear. Take one more inhale. And then as you exhale, gently release your hand. Release your knee. Nice. Now just a little bit more heat here into our practice. Tuck all ten toes. If you feel like you've got enough heat, take a moment. Maybe a couple more cat cows if you're looking for a little bit more. All ten toes tucked. As you exhale, can you lift your knees just off the mat? Now pause. Notice. Did you start to hold your breath? Did your shoulders creep up by your ears? Did you push your chin down towards the mat? Lengthen your spine, soften your shoulders, lift your belly, maintain your breath. Take two more. Take an inhale and exhale. One more inhale and exhale. Gently release your knees, untuck your toes. Nice. Second side. Keep that belly lifted. Power through the core. Left arm reaches forward. Now soften the shoulder. Send your right leg back. Now don't let that right hip lift. Keep the pelvis square. Belly lifted up. When you're ready, maybe that back leg floats off the mat. Now again, feel free to stay here or otherwise. Inhale, find length. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach. And four more, exhale. Inhale, reach. And three more. Inhale, reach. Two more, exhale. Inhale, reach. And one more. And reach, extending the leg back, soften the shoulder, belly lifts up, take one more inhale. And gently release your hands, release your knees. Nice, now let's go and tuck those toes one more time. Again, if you just need a cat cow, take a cat cow. If you need a moment, pause here. If you want a little bit more heat, tuck all 10 toes. As you exhale, lift your knees off the mat. Soften your shoulders away from your ears, collarbones nice and broad. Check your breath, inhale. And exhale. Two more, inhale. And exhale. One more round of breath. And exhale, gently release. Awesome, you guys. Now keep those toes tucked. I want you to take your hands just about four inches forward of your shoulders. Now again, your triceps, back your arm. Wrap them down towards the mat. Lift your shoulder blades up. And we're moving all the way into our first downward facing dog. As you exhale, lift your hips up. Feel free to pedal out your feet, bending one knee and the other. Now staying down dog, keep pedaling. Again, for any of my friends that maybe are using a chair, maybe not coming into a full down dog, feel free to use the back of your chair, a sofa, wherever you are, and you can do what would be referred to as a puppy dog. 
here and getting that same amount of length. So again, you don't need to be fully down on your mat. Adjust the practice for you. Now, for those of my friends in their down dog, again, allow the legs to pedal once you found a nice stretch, extending your heels towards the mat. They might not touch. It's okay if they don't. Inner thighs reaching back, shoulder blades lifted. Now, as you inhale, I want you to come forward into a plank pose. Now, bringing shoulders over hips. Now, from here, with your shoulders, I'm going to turn slightly, just slightly. Shoulders over hips, belly lifted towards your spine. Keep reaching your heart forward. Now, take an inhale. From here, exhale, downward facing dog. And again, inhale, shoulders over wrist. And exhale, hips up and back. Engage your quads, belly towards your spine as you press back. Inhale, forward. And exhale, lift. Now, one more time. Inhale, forward, just warming up those shoulders. Now, from here, pause. Everyone, go and bring your knees down to your mat. Now, without letting those hips sink down and fall, I want you to keep those hips lifted. Draw the belly in, hip bones up. Now, hug your elbows in, our first chaturanga. Broaden your collarbones. Send your heart forward, not leading with your chin. Keep the spine long. Take an inhale. As you exhale, go and lower all the way onto your belly. Now, once you're here, we want our hands right next to our ribs. Our elbows are reaching up. Now, as you inhale, stay low. Inhale, lift your heart just slightly forward. Now, check. Are your shoulders way up by your ears? Can you draw your shoulders down a little bit more? Send your tailbone back. Hug your elbows in. Take another inhale. Exhale, gently lower. Now again, inhale, shoulders are soft. Send your heart forward. Imagine you're trying to pull that heart towards the top of your mat, top of your space. As you exhale, lower. One more here, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lower. Now this time, pressing into the palms, a little bit more work into the arms. Double check, are you just pushing your belly towards the mat? Can you lift that belly up a little bit more? Shoulders away from ears. Take another inhale. And as you exhale, press back on your knees, tuck your toes. Hips up and back, downward facing dog. Now what we're headed into here are our vinyasas. So that refers to our vinyasa flow. Feel free to skip them as we go. You can always come back to this pose, downward dog. You can always take a child's pose um, as we go. Otherwise, feel free to take every one. So we're gonna move a little bit quicker through this one on the breath. As you inhale, shift forward, bring shoulders over wrist, pause. Now your choice, knees up or down. As you exhale, lower onto your belly. As you inhale, send your heart up, shoulders soft, cobra pose, belly lifted. Tuck your toes, maybe straight legs, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Shoulder blades lifted from your ears. Let's take one more round here together. Inhale, reach your heart forward. Elbows hug in, knees up or down, yogi's choice. Exhale, lower. Inhale, reach your heart up. Pressing into your palms, shoulders soft. As you exhale, tuck your toes, hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Now once you find down dog, take a deep inhale through your nose. Out your mouth, let it go. One more time. Deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, take your right leg up to the sky. Now pause. We're going to open up our hip. Without dipping into your left shoulder, keep your shoulders square. Shoulder blades lifted. From here, you can release your head. Maybe that right leg opens up over the hip. Maybe a couple swings, a couple bends. Release into that right hip. And when you're ready, begin to press your right heel straight back to the back of your mat. Square off your hips. Take an inhale. Exhale, come forward, knee towards your nose. And then step your foot between your hands. If you need to grab that foot, grab the ankle. Bring it up. Bring your ankle underneath your knee. Now send your back knee all the way down to the mat. Untuck your toes. Take your time. Walk your hands all the way up. Your thigh, shoulder soft. Now again, any of my friends may be standing. Feel free to do all of this at the back of a chair. With support, maybe back knees lifted, back foot is on the mat. From there, feel free to reach your arms overhead. Wrap triceps forward. Belly stays lifted, ribs are drawn in. Take a nice deep inhale. As you exhale, open your elbows to the side. Inhale, reach. Three more, exhale, open. Inhale, reach. Two more, exhale. Inhale, reach. And one more. Inhale, reach, pausing here. Exhale, gently release your hands down to the mat. Now inhale, reach your heart forward. Exhale, shift your hips back, flex your front foot. 
Inhale, reach forward. Now, it doesn't matter if this front leg doesn't go all the way to straight. If you need to keep it bent, keep it bent. Setting the heart forward. It's just about opening up these muscles, getting into that hamstring back of the thigh, maybe even a little stretch through the calf with a flexed foot. Shifting hips back, and then go ahead and reach your heart forward. Now your left hand, press it down into the mat. Right arm, open it up to the sky. Find your twist, stack your shoulders, right shoulder over left. Now we're not sinking into the shoulder. I want you to lift up, try to touch the sky. Try to touch the ceiling. If this is enough, stay. If you want more, tuck the back toes, lift the back knee. Right knee still over right ankle. Hug your right hip back, broaden along your collarbones. Take an inhale. Exhale, gently release your hand down to the mat. Pause. Exhale, step back, downward facing dog. Take a moment. You need a pedal, release the head, release the neck. Second side, spread your fingers, plant your palms. Inhale, left leg up to the sky. Now pause here. Bending your left knee, feel free to open up the hips. Any circles, any shakes, feel free to release into the hips. And then from here, go ahead and press your left heel back. Square off your pelvis, soften that left hip down. As you exhale, knee to nose. Step your foot between your hands. Now again, nothing wrong with trying to hop that foot up, give it a little help, make sure that ankle gets right underneath your knee. Back knee drops down to the mat. As you inhale, take your hands gently and walk them up your thigh. Now as much as you can, lift your belly. As you lift your belly, send your tailbone down, pressing the hip. So the more lift we can get through the front of the body, the deeper the stretch in that hip is gonna be. Shoulder soft, inhale, flip the arms up. Wrap triceps forward. Collarbones broad, belly's lifted. Take an inhale. Exhale, open. Inhale, reach. Three more, exhale, open. Inhale, reach. Two more, exhale. Inhale, reach. And one more. Inhale, reach. Exhale, gently lower your hands down towards your mat. Send your heart forward, inhale. As you exhale, send your hips back, maybe a little flex through your front foot. Inhale, reaches forward. And exhale, shift back. Two more, inhale forward. And it doesn't matter how far back the hips go. It doesn't matter if the leg doesn't fully straighten. Go where you can, go where it feels good for you. One more round, shifting back. And then pause, plant your foot into the mat. Right hand down, send left arm up. And even if you're on the other leg, that's fine. Make sure you get that other twist in, reaching up towards the sky. Either stay here or tuck the back toes, lift your back knee. Broaden along your collarbones, soften your shoulders away from your ears. How much can you lengthen? How much can you extend up towards the ceiling, towards the sky? Take one more inhale here. And then as you exhale, gently release. Now Yogi's choice. Either step back to plank for vinyasa, downward dog, or child's pose, you decide. So if you're taking that vinyasa, find your plank as you exhale. Hug your elbows in, gently lower. Inhale, broaden, soften your shoulders. Exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Take a nice deep inhale. Out your mouth, let it go. <sighs> inhale, come onto your toes, look forward. Bend your knees. Now your choice, step, maybe a little hop, hop. We want to bring our feet all the way up to our hands. Now pause here for a moment. Feet about hips width, soft bend in your knees. Now, you can take your hands, interlace your fingers behind your back, and reach up. If that doesn't work and you happen to grab a towel, maybe use a towel just to give a little bit more space for the shoulders to reach. If that's even a bit too much and you want to take a little bit lighter, maybe just hands to hips to lift the shoulder blades up away from your ears. So you decide, hands, towel, or hands to hips. From here, draw the shoulder blades together, reach the knuckles up to the sky, let the head release. Gentle nod, yes. Gentle shake, no. If available in your shoulders, maybe you extend the hands forward. If available in your legs, maybe you press down a little bit more, the legs extend towards straight, head drops down. Taking one more round of breath here, soften your jaw, soften your neck. As you exhale, gently release hands down. Whew. Now a soft bend through your knees again. If your hands are not coming to the mat, again, remember, we have a chair, so feel free if you need support with a chair or even a nice deep bend in the knees, press hands on chins. Go where it works for you. As you inhale, send the heart forward, shoulders away from ears. Exhale, bend. Two more. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bend. One more. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bend. Soft bend in your knees, arms all the way up and overhead. 
And exhale, hands to the heart. Whoo, awesome work. We made it to standing. Nice job, you guys. From here, go and bring your toes together at the top of your mat. Now, belly's lifted, tailbone is down, shoulders soft, hands to heart. Now, as you keep that sternum lifted, I want you to exhale, send your hips back, chair pose. As if you're gonna sit back into a chair. Now, your heels are pressing down. Make sure your toes aren't rotated to the side, all 10 toes reaching forward and shoulders away from ears. Now, keep your heart lifted, just the arms. Inhale, float the arms up. Wrap your triceps forward without there being tension, without there being a rounding through the back. Can you lift that heart up? Can you soften the shoulder blades down? Take an inhale, just the arms, exhale. Whew. Keeping that heat through the legs. Inhale, reach, exhale, lower. Two more, inhale, reach, exhale, lower. One more round, inhale, reach, exhale, lower. Inhale, reach your arms up, pause here, find length through that spine. As you exhale, gently release, dive forward. Inhale, halfway. Reach your heart towards the top of your mat. Shoulders soft, belly lifted. Now exhale, bring your hands to your mat. Step your left foot back. Pause. Right ankles under your right knee. Soft bend through your back knee. As you inhale, gently press under your thigh, setting up for crescent pose. Now our lunge. Again, if you need support, use your chair. Bring it in front of you. You can hold on to it. Otherwise, stay right where you are or take those arms all the way up and overhead. Wrap triceps forward, belly lifted, tailbone down, shoulders soft. Keeping that length here, take another inhale and exhale. One more round, inhale. Nice, exhale, gently release your hands to the mat. Pause, look forward, step all the way to the top. Switch sides, right foot steps back. Other leg is back, knee over ankle, belly lifted. Now from here, same thing, power through the back leg, power through your core. Feel free to start with those hands on the thigh, belly lifted. Anytime we come up, feel free to use that front leg to help lift you up. If available, arms overhead. If needed, use a chair. Hug your hip back, lift your belly up. Reach your tailbone down, shoulders soft, take another inhale. As you exhale, gently release your hands to your mat. Now again, yogi's choice. Step back, either plank, down dog, child's pose. If you feel like a vinyasa, exhale, lower. Inhale, reach, shoulders soft. Exhale, tuck your toes, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Take a deep inhale. Out your mouth, let it go. Coming up on your toes, look forward, bend your knees. Step, hop, scurry, however you can get to the top of your mat. We're gonna bring it all the way up. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, hands to heart, chair pose. Belly stays lifted, shoulders soft from the ears. Take another inhale. And exhale. Inhale, reach. Exhale, gently lower. Nice, now we're gonna go through that again. We're gonna add a few more things to it though this time. So, if you need to just hold that crescent, you hold that crescent, do what you can do when we get there. This time, releasing the arms, inhale, hips back, chair pose. Wrap triceps forward, lift the heart. Keeping that length of the spine, inhale. Exhale, gently lower. Inhale, heart reaches forward. Take your left foot, step it straight back. Pausing here. Now this time, soft bend through the back knee. Come onto your fingertips. As you inhale, can you float straight up? Wrap triceps forward. If you need to hold, stay here. If you've got it in you, four. Back knee will lower down and up, elbows to the side. Take an inhale. Exhale, lower. Inhale up. Three more, exhale. Inhale up. Two more. And up. One more. And up. Keep your arms reaching, sink the hips a little bit deeper. Now turn those palms forward, lower the arms. Belly lifts. As you exhale, reach that heart out over the thigh, yes. Now without rounding, broaden through the collarbones. Take a nice deep inhale. With control, exhale, release, step to the top of your mat. Switching sides. Right foot steps back. Left foot is forward, knee over ankle. Come onto your fingertips. Shoulders soft from your ear. Hug your left hip back. As you inhale, float your arms up and overhead. Pause. If this is enough, stay here. Belly lifted, inhale. If available, exhale lower. Inhale up. Three more. And up. Two more. And up. And one more. And up. Pause. Can you sink a little bit deeper? Can you power up that back leg a little bit more? Take one more inhale. And then as you exhale, 
Gently release your hands down towards the mat. Pause. Step back in a plank. Yogi's choice. Take a break. Grab some water. Grab a towel. Whatever you need. Maybe a vinyasa. Inhale, lengthen. Tuck your toes. Exhale, hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Out your mouth. Let it go. Inner thighs reaching back. Heels reaching back. Inhale, come high up on your toes, look forward. Exhale, bend, step, hop, however you want to get to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. And chair pose, send those hips back. Reach those arms down, pausing here. Hands to heart. Belly stays lifted, ribs are in. We're going to take a twist here. Keep sending the hips back, keep the knees nice and square. As you exhale, twist towards your right. Hook your tricep all the way onto your thigh. So if I turn towards you sideways, arm all the way across the thigh, and then use the hands to gently press. Rotate and broaden. Stacking right shoulder over left. Feel free to look down to the side. Up, take another inhale. And exhale. Inhale, brings you back to center. You're gonna switch. Other side, as you exhale, take your tricep across your thigh. Now the leg and the arm connect, they touch, and then use that arm to press down into the thigh. Broaden through the chest, open along those collarbones. Take another inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. Inhale brings you back to center. Pause for the exhale. Woo! Inhale brings you up. And exhale, release. Awesome, you guys, nice. From here, we're gonna take our first balance from a standing position. Nice and tall, so belly's lifted. Go ahead and take your hands to your hips. Now soften your shoulders, lift your right heel up. Just popping the heel up, I want you to send the knee to the side. Now, you decide. I want you to firm your left bum, your left glute, and engage, press down into your left big toe. Now you can keep the heel here at the ankle, you can bring it to your shin, or to the full variation of tree pose, foot to thigh. Now, don't let this hip pull back, keep the pelvis square. Knee can be a little bit forward. Belly lifted, maybe hands to heart, shoulders soft. Staying here, find that support through the center. Maybe arms reaching up and overhead extend. Wrapping triceps forward. Go getting length through your spine. Tailbone reaching down, hip bones reaching up. Steady through that breath. Take another inhale. And exhale. One more round, inhale. And exhale. Now from here with control, can you bring your knee forward? Pause. Exhale, gently lower. Ice hands to heart. Second side. Awesome job. Pause, take a moment. As we switch to the other leg, checking your balance. Balance is different from leg to leg, side to side, day to day. So don't be upset if one side is better than the other. You feel more balanced. We do have a dominant leg, so we're just trying to even things out as much as we can. Firm that right bum, lift your belly up. Now you decide, stay here, bring it to the shin, or you can even grab that ankle, bring it all the way up towards the thigh. Now, whoo, square through the pelvis, press your right big toe into the mat. Hands to heart, this is perfectly fine. Staying here, keep that lift through the belly. Shoulders soft, maybe arms reach up all the way overhead. Wrapping triceps forward. Softening your shoulders down away from your ears. Now, are you breathing? Are you gripping through your jaw? Soften through your face. Take an inhale. And exhale. One more round here, inhale. And exhale. Bringing your left knee forward, pause here. And then exhale, gently release. Good hands to heart. Take a nice deep inhale through your nose. Out your mouth, let it go. <sighs> all right, come back to the top of your mat, or I'll come back to the top of my mat. Belly lifted, we're gonna take a little flow here. Remember, vinyasa is optional. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, reach with the heart. Soft bend through your knees, dive forward. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Now your choice, step back into plank for your vinyasa. If you practice a hop, hop back, or right back to down dog. You decide. So again, if this is becoming too much to repeat these vinyasas, skip them and just meet me right here. Now we're gonna keep adding on a little bit more heat as we go. Do what you can. Pause, rest when you need. Right leg to the sky. As you exhale, I want you to bring your right knee to your nose. Now inhale, send it back. Three more, exhale. And inhale back. Two more. Exhale. Belly to spine. Shoulders over wrist. And back. Three-legged dog. One more time. Exhale. Pause. Step your foot all the way between your hands. Whew. Front knee over ankle. Crescent pose. 
Heart reaches forward. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Now we've already been here. Let's go ahead and add on. Hands to heart, pause. Back heel, I want you to drop it all the way to the mat for warrior two. Front heel, walk it in a little bit closer towards the left side. So ideally, we're trying to get our front heel to line up with our back big toe. Now from here, bend that front knee and then straighten your back leg. If the back knee's bent, the front leg takes more weight. So power through the back leg, lift up off that front leg, extend the arm to warrior two. Soften your shoulders, bellies up. Now again, no tension. Let's come back to that positive thought in our mind. As we heat, as we hold the warrior two, can you find your breath? Can you find calm in the pose, in the power? Take another inhale and exhale. Now front leg straightens, arms overhead. Inhale, reach. Exhale, bend. Three more. Inhale, reach. Exhale, bend. Knee straight forward. Inhale, reach. Exhale, bend. One more. Inhale, reach. Exhale, bend. Pause here. Now keep your belly lifted. Just your forearm to your thigh. Left arm to the sky. Now don't sink into that shoulder. Don't sink into that side waist. Lift up out of the side waist. Lift through the ribs. Broaden through the collarbones. Front knee still over ankle. Now keeping that nice deep bend in your knee, can you rotate the top arm? Maybe reach toward the top of your mat. Shoulder soft. Take an inhale. Maybe look up. Exhale. As you inhale, bring yourself up. Pause. Lift through your belly. Front palm flips. I know that front leg is talking. We've been in this for your two for a minute. Reaching through that side waist. Take one more inhale. You got this. Exhale. Gently release. Whoo. Pause. Find your lunge. Now. We're going into a side arm plank. Left hand down. Now option A, bring your left knee to the mat. Send your right foot back. Open your right arm. Perfect option to take. Stay with that. Or send your left leg back and both legs straight. You decide. Lift it through the side waist. Broaden through the collarbones. Maybe this top arm reaches up and overhead. Length, space. Find that nice big stretch. One more inhale. Exhale, gently release. Child's pose, down dog, or vinyasa. Exhale, lower. Inhale to lift shoulders soft. Flip those toes, hips up and back. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Out your mouth, let it go. All right, reset. If you need a sip, take a sip. If you need that towel, grab the towel. If you're ready to keep going. Go ahead and start to send that left leg up to the sky. Find that press, take an inhale. Exhale, shoulders over wrist, knee to nose. Inhale back. Three more, exhale forward. Inhale back. Two more, exhale forward. Inhale back. One more, exhale forward, pause. Step your foot all the way between your hands. Whew. Now crescent pose. Send your heart forward. Soften your shoulders, belly lifted. Inhale, sweep the arms up, wrap your triceps forward. Now send your belly up, send your tailbone down. Just here for a moment, hands to heart. When you're ready, your back heel all the way down to the mat. Toes slightly turned up. Now your front foot, walk it a little bit towards the right side. Remember, front heel to back big toe. Bend that front knee, send the hips down. Now from here, as you extend, press the shoulders down. Without any of that quarantine tension in our shoulders, soften down. Belly stays lifted, waist is nice and long, front knee nice deep bend, back leg nice and straight. Now, check the breath, inhale, soften the jaw, exhale, one more inhale, and exhale, inhale to reach, lengthen, exhale, bend, three more, inhale, reach, exhale, bend, two more, inhale, reach, exhale, bend, one more, inhale, reach, Exhale, bend, pause here. Now keep the side waist lengthen, forearm to thigh, and then reach the right arm up. Now without sinking into that shoulder, lift up through the side waist, draw the shoulder down, try to touch the ceiling, reach for the sky. Now either staying here or top arm rotates, reach up and overhead. Shoulders stay soft. Ribs are in, hip bones are lifted towards your lower ribs. Keep your bum underneath your torso. Keep the bend as you inhale, float up. Pause, flip your front palm, keep the bend, shift back reverse warrior, side waist. Keep that extension, shoulders soft from the ear. Take another inhale, and exhale. One more inhale, and as you exhale, gently windmill the hands, bring them all the way down onto the mat, pause. 
Right hand down. Go ahead and adjust. Right knee towards the mat. Option A. Left foot back. Remember option B. Both legs can be straight. So go where it works for you. Soften through the shoulders. Broaden through the collarbones. Maybe you stay here. As the shoulders stack, maybe you reach that arm up and overhead. Two more breaths. Inhale. And exhale. One more round of breath. Inhale. And as you exhale, gently release either vinyasa, down dog, child's pose. You decide. Inhale, find length. Exhale, tuck your toes, shift up and back, downward facing dog. Take a nice deep inhale. Out your mouth, let it go. Let's go ahead and take a moment. Bring our knees all the way down to our mat. Shift our hips back. Let's go ahead and take that child's pose. Woo. Shoulders soft from the ear, head drops down. Checking your breath. Take another inhale. And exhale. One more round, inhale. And exhale. And then slowly walking your hands up. And then go ahead and take your legs and swing them out in front of you. Now, we're gonna head into a little bit of heat, a little bit of core work here, because we've got a couple balances coming up next. So, I'm gonna give you plenty of options to modify, to work through what is best for your body. So as we go, do what you can. Now we're headed into what's called a boat pose. So the full version of the pose is gonna look like this. Now again, if you're already thinking, Nicholas, that's too much. That's fine, stay seated where you are. You can keep the feet on the mat. You can keep hands behind thighs. Another great option is to bring hands behind you because we're gonna lower and lift. So either feet on the mat, you can even do that with feet lifted here. So go ahead and play with it. Set yourself up. If you are coming up for full boat pose, take the thighs, gently lift maybe begin to release the arms. Now that belly towards the spine. If this is enough, stay here. Otherwise, five rounds, we're gonna lower and lift halfway. Take an inhale, exhale lower, and inhale up. Here you can use your thighs, and up, or hands behind your back, and up. Two more, and up, one more, and up, pause, take an inhale. And gently release your feet, sit nice and tall. Whew, how did that first round go? Again, any modifications? If you need a break, you need to chill here, hang out for a moment. Otherwise, let's take one more round of five. Bringing the legs up when you're ready, pause. Sit nice and tall, collarbones broad, shoulders soft, heart is lifted, belly towards that spine, lower in halfway, take an inhale. Exhale, lower. Inhale up. Four more. And up. And three. And up. And two, and up, last one. And bringing yourself up, pause, take one more, inhale. Woo, exhale, gently release. If you're seated here on the floor, take those thighs, inhale, reach that heart up. As you exhale, gently round through the back, chin to chest, pause, Woo. Inhale, find a little bit of length, shoulders soft, and then go ahead and bring those feet out around you. And let's go ahead and come all the way back into our downward facing dog, shifting those hips up and back. Take a nice big reach, deep inhale. Out your mouth. Now from here, we're gonna set up for our warrior three, a nice big balance. I want you to inhale, float your right leg up. Exhale, bring your knee to your nose, step your foot between your hands. Pausing here. Now soften through your shoulders, collarbones broad. Now, before we get moving, a couple options here. Again, a chair or something in front of you, even maybe the couch, would be amazing because we're gonna shift forward. So if you need some balance, you're gonna go ahead and use a prop to help you out, any piece of furniture, anything you can find that might be useful. Otherwise, if you're going for the full balance on your own, awesome, get it, you're gonna start here. Now we can actually all start here in this lunge. Now from here, see if you can take the arms, float them up alongside the hips, belly's lifted. Front knee over ankle. Now keep a soft bend through that front knee as you inhale. Exhale, can you begin to shift forward onto that right leg? Now keep a soft bend, belly's lifted. Don't let this back leg become dead weight. Press through that back leg. Now your choice, hands along the hips, hands to heart, maybe arms forward. Again, if you need some balance, some support, go for it. Taking two more rounds of breath here. Inhale and exhale. One more round of breath, inhale, and exhale, gently release your hands, release your foot, and pause at the top of your mat. Take those feet about hips width, nice deep bend, and from here, feel free to take hands to elbows, gentle sway, 
Release that lower back, lengthen the heart towards the mat. Soften through the jaw, through the neck. All right, let's set up for our second side. Remember, the vinyasas are just giving us a little bit more heat, so you decide where it works for you. You can take that vinyasa or just meet me back in a downward facing dog. Now, when you're ready, second side, shoulder blades lift. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose. Go ahead and step your foot all the way between your hands. Now, hogging your left hip back. Keep reaching the heart forward, broaden. Now from here, I want you to already feel that core, nice and heated. Now ready to support as you inhale, can you take those arms just off the mat, whoo, length. Now here, we're already halfway into that warrior three. All we gotta do is get that back leg up off the mat. Now shifting your heart forward, shifting the gaze forward as you exhale. Begin to bend that back knee, maybe a little spring, maybe a little hop, however it works best to get that back leg to lift, and your thigh reaches. Hands to a chair, hands to a couch, on the side, maybe to heart center. Maybe forward, again, go where it works best for you. Belly stays lifted, soft bend through the left knee. Square through the pelvis. Taking two more rounds of breath here. Inhale, and exhale. And again, nice deep inhale, and exhale. One more here, inhale, and exhale. Gently release your hands, go and gently release your foot. Pause, and from here, go and take hands to elbows. A gentle release, again, fold. If it feels good to take those hands up behind the back, interlace and reach, go for it. Maybe a gentle nod, yes. Maybe a gentle shake, no. And then go ahead and gently release your hands all the way down to the mat. Inhale, send that heart forward halfway. Exhale, plant your palms either into your vinyasa or straight back to your downward facing dog. You decide, inhale, lengthen, shoulders soft. Exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Out your mouth, let it go. And then inhale, go ahead and come up onto your toes, look forward. Exhale, step or hop, come all the way to the top of the mat. And your choice, if you can bring those big toes together all the way to touch, inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold, arms up and overhead, stand, and hands all the way to your heart. Nice. Now we're going to set up for a balance here at the top of our mat. So again, if you need a little extra support, a little extra balance with a chair, maybe a couch in front of you, or maybe even a wall, feel free because we're going to do a one-legged balance here. A little bit more opening into the hips before we get into those nice stretches on the mat. So from here, I want you to set up on your right foot. I want you to take your left ankle across your thigh and gently shift back. Now, even if you need to come to a chair and just seat it, do a stretch, that's fine. Again, if you need some support, some balance, have something in front of you to hold on to. Otherwise, keeping that support through the core, hands to heart. Now from here, a little flex in that foot that is lifted. So this left foot to keep that knee nice and safe. Now, without rounding into it, can you draw the shoulders down? Can you lift through the heart? Keeping the belly lifted, take an inhale. Maybe you go a little bit deeper. Pausing here, take an inhale. Yogi's choice, if available, maybe a little bit deeper into the stretch. Two more rounds of breath. Inhale. And exhale. Again, inhale. And exhale, setting that focus. One more round of breath here, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, brings you all the way up to stand. And exhale, gently release. Nice, keeping that lift through the belly. We're gonna switch sides. Pressing the left foot down. Take your right ankle up and across. Knee gently draws down. Now shifting your hips back, lift your hip bones up, draw your ribs in. Again, if you need some support, grab onto a chair, something you can hold on to just to help find balance. But feel free, play with it. Even if you are using a little prop, play with that balance. Again, relying on your core, those deep intrinsic muscles to help support you. Grounding your left heel, soften your shoulders. Now flex through your right foot, lengthen your heart, take an inhale, maybe a little bit deeper, exhale. Two more rounds, inhale, and exhale. One more here, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, brings you all the way up to stand, and exhale, gently release. 
Nice, pausing here. Staying tall on both feet, shoulders soft. Nice deep inhale. Out your mouth, exhale. And gently releasing your arms. Inhale, float your arms up. Soft bend through your knees. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, halfway. Send that heart up towards the top of your mat. Plant your palms. Again, yogi's choice, either vinyasa or straight back to your downward facing dog. As you inhale, lengthen and shift hips up and back. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Out your mouth, let it go. And from here, let's go and bring you onto your knees. Now, before we really get into that hip opener, we're going to open up the heart one more time here. So I'm going to turn sideways just slightly. Hopefully you can see. Now, feel free to tuck the toes. If you need to flip the mat under or put something under your knees just for a little bit more padding, go for it. Now, from here, we're going to take our hands right to our lower back, our upper bum. Now, I want you to reach your tailbone down, lift your hip bones up, drawing the elbows towards each other, and then broaden. It does not matter how far back you go. That's not the point. The point is to lift your heart. So imagine a string attached towards your chest, pulling you up. So as you inhale, camel pose, we're going to soften the shoulders, lift the collarbones, lengthen, and gently begin to reach the heart up. Now again, just depend on your flexibility. There should be no, no stress, no pain through your lower back. So make sure you're still engaged through your core supporting your lower back. Broaden here. Take another inhale. And exhale. One more round of breath. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale brings you all the way up. Now, keep all 10 of your toes tucked. As you exhale, take a moment, have a seat on your heels. Now, if there is a bit of intensity in the arches or even along the balls of the feet, that's expected because we don't usually stretch out our arches this way. So it's a nice little stretch to kind of release the feet, especially anyone with plantar fasciitis. So taking a moment here, belly lifted, shoulders soft. When you're ready, one more round. Go ahead and lift. If it feels okay with the toes tucked, keep them that way. If you want to bring those feet all the way flat onto the mat, go for it. Draw the tailbone down, soften the shoulders. As you inhale, lift the heart, broaden along the collarbones. Now, no pain in the lower back, keep your gaze up. As you send the heart back, maybe a little bit deeper, take an inhale. And exhale. One more round, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, bring yourself all the way back up. And this time, go ahead and shift your hips all the way back. Nice. From here, we're going to set up for our single pigeon pose. Let's go ahead and open up those hips now. We're going to go from all fours. So I'm going to give you two options. The first option is doing just the standard single pigeon pose. So bringing that right knee forward, a little flex through your right foot. And then from here, the back toes tucked. You want to lift the hips slide back just slightly. Now, if the hips don't come all the way down to the mat, that is fine. You can put a towel underneath, a pillow underneath your hip to help support. Most important thing, no pain in your right knee, no tension through your shoulders. Soften your shoulders down, lifting up. And then from here, as you exhale, feel free to take your time. You can begin to fold. Now, if all of this is too much for you, again, you can do this seated from a chair. If you're in single pigeon and it feels okay, go ahead and stay where you are. Otherwise, you can do this from a chair seated, gently Take the knee across the thigh and press, or you can come all the way down onto your back, thread the needle, send the knee to the side, and reach your hands through, interlace around your shin or thigh, letting the head drop down. So yogi's choice, wherever it works best for you, I want you to settle into that pose. If you're in single pigeon, notice any tension through your shoulders, soften the shoulders away from the ears. Two more rounds of breath here. And exhale. One more round, inhale. And exhale. And then taking your time as you inhale, slowly walk your hands up, pause. If you're in single pigeon, we're gonna switch. If you're on your back or you're on your chair, stay where you are, and you're just gonna switch legs so other ankle goes on the other thigh. From here, my single pigeon friends, go ahead and set your right knee back. Send your left foot forward. Now, a little flex in that left foot. Can you hug your left hip back a little bit more? Again, if you need something for under that left hip, a towel, a pillow, adjust. No pain in your left knee at all. Shoulder soft. If there is, take one of the other two variations from the chair or on your back. When you're ready, take your time. 
Begin to gently release, soften towards the mat. Just checking in with your breath, allowing your body to settle. Two more rounds here. One more round of breath. And as you inhale, take your time wherever you are, single pigeon on your back, on your chair, slowly make your way back up, and then go ahead and gently slide your knee back, go ahead and come all the way onto your hips, and go ahead and send both legs out in front of you. Awesome. Coming into our last few stretches here. Again, feel free to take these twists from a chair, seated upright, or coming all the way down onto your mat. And even here, if you want to sit yourself up onto a pillow, prop the hips a little bit higher, anything that makes the hips feel a little bit better. Now we're going to bring our left shin in and across, hugging the foot in, your right foot all the way across your thigh for a nice little twist. Now pressing both sitting bones down into the mat. Now already, right hand behind you, you can take hold of this right knee, hug it in towards your chest, or you can take the arm all the way up and across. As you exhale, gently rotate and twist. Inhale, send your heart up towards the sky. As you exhale, right shoulder reaches back. Two more. Inhale, find length through the spine. Exhale, rotate and twist. And one more. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, twist. And then as you inhale, bring yourself all the way back to center. Go ahead and rock back onto your hips and go ahead and switch sides. Bringing your right ankle underneath, bring your left ankle on top. Now, both sitting bones grounded down to the mat, hugging either onto your knee, or as you inhale, lengthen, maybe that elbow comes all the way across your thigh. Now use the arm to press into the thigh. Draw your shoulders down. Exhale, rotate. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. And exhale, twist. Two more. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. One more. Inhale, lift up out of your lower back even more. As you exhale, can you broaden your left collarbone, left shoulder back? And then inhale, brings you all the way back to center, pausing at the top. And from here, go and extend both legs straight. Now, pressing through your heels. If you need a soft bend, feel free to take it. Take the skin of your bum, gently pull the skin up, just to sit as tall as we can on our hips, on our sitting bones. Pressing your heels forward, go ahead and reach the arms up, wrap the triceps forward. Now, belly lifts. As you exhale, begin to reach your heart forward. Now, for some of us, our hands will come right to our feet. If you need, bend your knees. You can also take a towel, take a strap, whatever you have. Help extend the arms, make them a little bit longer because we want to avoid this position here, this kind of sinking into the shoulders. It's not a shoulder stretch, it's a hamstring stretch, the back of your thigh. So you want to press those heels as far forward as you can, draw your shoulders down. As you inhale, lengthen, send the heart forward. As you exhale, pull the heart. And again, inhale, reach. And exhale, fold. Two more. Inhale, reach. And exhale, fold. Just let the head drop down as far as your body will allow without tensing up through the upper back, through those upper traps. Take another inhale. And exhale. One more round of breath. And exhale. Inhale brings you all the way back up. Pause. Now from here, we're going to finish in a pose which is called Shavasana. And it seems as if we're trying to take a nap. We are not. It's a point where we're settling the practice fully into our body. So what you're going to do is you're going to make your way all the way into your, onto your back. And then I will talk you through the rest. So feel free. Take a moment. You can bend the knees, gently lowering down. Now as you come onto your back, if the back still feels a little tight and you want to hug the knees in, maybe a gentle rock side to side, feel free to do that. Go ahead and stay on your back. I'm going to adjust this just slightly. And then from here, when you're ready, taking your time, gently allow your legs to reach forward, the palms to face up, the shoulders to soften, and your body just to settle here. Now feel free to even close your eyes. We're going to be here for just a few moments. I want you to find a nice comfortable position here, just on your back. 
even if you need to prop yourself up slightly. Now take a nice, comfortable inhale. A gentle sigh. Now stay where you are on your back. I'm gonna keep talking you through it. I want you to just take a moment. All the work, all the effort, all the focus you just put into your practice, I want you to allow it to be absorbed into your body. For the next few moments, just finding peace, finding stillness, finding a calm within as you begin to move into Shavasana. Now from where you are, I want you to gently begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Bringing a little bit more power back to your breath. Reaching your arms over your head, take a long stretch through your body. And when you're ready, go ahead and bend your knees and roll to your side, taking a moment, just allowing your body to settle here. And when you're ready, your next exhale, I want you to press yourself all the way up to a seated position and feel free to keep your eyes closed. Once you've brought yourself up, soften the face again, just like how we started. Feel free to bring your hands to thighs or even hands together at a heart center. Shoulders are soft, collarbones are broad. Spine is long. Closing with three strong breaths. Take a deep inhale. And release. Two more. Deep breaths in. Inhale. And release. One more. Deep breath. And release. Sealing in all the practice, all the work, all the effort, all the focus. Namaste. Thank you so much, yogis. I hope you guys enjoyed it. An absolute pleasure, absolute pleasure teaching for uh, Breakout Studios online yoga. If you have any questions, feel free to let us know. Um, but hopefully I'll see you guys again soon. Have a great one. Thank you guys so much.